Hey guys, it's your boy Armand, cosplaying as my TND bard Aruki Yu. Since I've been playing in an Eberron setting for quite a bit, I thought it might be cool to just have a whole list of vicious mockery lines at the ready. And hopefully this may help any bard players and dungeon masters looking for a quick list to pull from. This video is separated by chapters to fit the specific races of Eberron, but feel free to reskin and repurpose it to whatever game you're in. Without further ado, here it is. Did the Dragon Mark of Death make an appearance again? Cause you look awful. Your face is so ugly it might as well cause another morning. Oh jeez! A wedgie on you would put two more moons in the sky! Are you that desperate to want to bang a wall forged? Ugh, you're so uninspiring even a quarry wouldn't want to project into your dreams. Bet you can't stand the sight of yourself seeing how many faces you have to put on. Did you just roll in that one in deception? Cause I could see right through your disguise. Are you that desperate to want to take another person's form because you hate yourself that much? I've known about characters people put on for entertainment purposes, but living as another character 24-7 is another level altogether. Changing your identity isn't going to fix your horrible personality. Good lord, you've got nightmare fuel written all over, even a Cory will kick you out of their plane. All those plans about taking over Eberron? There's a reason why the region of dreams exists. Too afraid to get your hands dirty, huh? Explains why you'd blame your other half. I've heard of psychic projection and astral projection, but projecting your insecurities is a whole league on its own. Is this a dream? Cause you're making this fight way too easy. Ugh! Every time I have to fight your kind, I wish my animal handling score was higher. Can grow fangs but can't grow balls? What a shame. Ho oh, ho 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 wait. At what point do I have to cast Charm Monster in order to keep you under control? If that's the only attack you've been able to do, does that make you a one-trick pony? You know, I thought I was promised a fight with a mythical monster with superhuman powers, not this half-baked thing you've got going on. You know, your brain is just like a warforge, only able to take orders from others and never thinking for yourself. How's it like not to know your purpose in life? Are you one of Decanus failed prototypes? Cause you certainly don't look well put together. Got an artificer for hire? Cause your face needs to be rearranged. Eat shit and die! Oh wait, sorry, I forgot you can't do either of those, you useless hunk of metal.